Portable power stations versus traditional solar power kits. Both have pros and both have cons, but which one is best for you? That is what we're gonna be looking at today. So if you guys are watching this video, you are at the very end of our very short little playlist that we put together trying to help you guys understand the fundamentals and the basics of solar power. And at this point, you should understand all of the terms, all of the components, how they all work together to make you a nice solar power system. And now you just have to decide if you're looking for a portable power station, or if you wanna go full send on a traditional solar power system and buy all the components individually. If at any point you guys find this video helpful, make sure you share it with some friends. Otherwise, we're gonna jump right into it and we are going to be starting with the traditional solar power system. These systems have been around for a long time and obviously this is where the portable power stations got all of their ideas and components that they then condense into a tiny little package that you can't service or work on or anything at all. And there is a ton of pros to these. I tend to lean more towards this type of system because it's a little bit more customizable. You're a little bit more hands-on with it. It's a little more fun if you're DIY friendly, but at the end of the day, that's just my opinion. To help you guys choose, we're gonna go over some of the pros and the cons of this guy right here, starting with the cons. So the first con to a system like this is they are usually more complicated and not necessarily to understand, but just when it comes to what goes into it. This is an inverter. To make this into a full kit, you're still gonna need solar panels, you're gonna need batteries, you're gonna need wires, you're gonna need switches, you're gonna need fuses. You're gonna need all kinds of different components to create a full system. So typically they can be a little bit more complicated or just confusing or daunting for people to understand. And because you have all these individual components and pieces, the second con is that they're a lot harder to install. Not again that they are hard to install, but when it comes to portable power station, there is no install process. This is a lot harder. You have to find space and time and knowledge to get it done. It's gonna require you to be able to mount all these things to the wall, to be able to wire all these different components to each other and to program and set all of that up on your own. Another con is that these are not portable. You can install them in an RV or something that moves, but they are not portable. Once they're screwed to the wall and wired, they're screwed to the wall and wired. They're also more dangerous, which is another con you're gonna be doing all the wiring, the wires are exposed, and a lot of times you wanna just move things around or whatever. There's a lot more hazard and exposed things when it comes to a system like this than there is with a portable power station. At the end of the day, you are dealing with a device that is spitting out electricity, whether you're dealing with the panels, the inverter, the batteries, any of those things can shock you. When it comes to pros, the traditional systems do have a really good edge though, starting with the fact that they are cheaper. In general, you can get a full traditional solar power system for a lot cheaper than a portable power station, basically because no one had to jam all these components into a tiny little casing and make sure that it didn't explode when it hits the ground. A lot of these components also come from individual manufacturers that only make that specific component. So if you buy a, an inverter from a brand that makes inverters, probably they're not gonna be charging you as much because they need to move units at the end of the day like they don't sell anything else if they don't sell their inverters they're out of business so they typically have pretty good deals they're also easier to expand because you're responsible for all the wiring and all of the everything really you can easily have one inverter and then you want to run 240 you buy a second inverter mount it beside wire them together you have 240. you don't have to ask anybody for permission you just do it same thing with batteries you just add more batteries to the stack you add more panels to your roof, whatever it is that you're trying to do. For the most part, you can get away with it. That also kind of bleeds into the next pro, which is that these are a lot more customizable, sharing the same theme that they just don't have any rules attached to them. You could change all the settings, you could program them to do a lot more. All the power is basically in your hands with a system like this. You can add batteries from different brands, you can have all kinds of stuff going on, you can customize these things as far as you would like to, which to a lot of people is a huge pro and a lot of fun. And honestly, probably one of the biggest pros to these is that it's much easier to solve problems. Everything is exposed and everything is able to come apart. There's screws all over the casing of this. You could take the whole thing apart and see inside of it. And typically when it comes to a unit like this, the service that they're gonna provide you is gonna be a lot better. It's a lot easier to just take this panel off, find the problem, and fix it than it is with a portable power station because those are typically sealed in their casing and almost impossible to get into and start actually taking them apart safely. But moving on to the portable power stations, which a lot of their pros and cons are just the opposite of the pros and cons that you would find from a traditional system. And we're gonna start with the cons for a typical portable power station. And number one is that they are just more expensive. What you're looking at right here is an inverter and a battery bank, and it has all your plugs on the front and it has all the technology for the app and the expandability and all that stuff jammed into this little case with a little flip up handle that's easy to take around. 
You pay for the fact that someone had to get it all in there and design it in a way where it made sense and worked. Another con to portable power stations, although this is one that we are seeing a trend away from, is that they are smaller in capacity and output. Typically, Portable power stations aren't huge. You can expand on them and build on them to get them to the point where you might have a traditional solar power system, but there's only a few big players in the game. For the most part, everything is relatively small in and around 3000 or less watts. Another con is that they are just harder to fix. Look at this thing. Does this look like it's gonna be easy to get inside of and figure out what's going on with it and fix it yourself and do all that? Probably not. With these, normally you have to send them back to the company and they will repair it for you. Not that you don't have to do that with some of these products, but it's been known that in a traditional system, it's more common for them to walk you through a repair versus something like this, where they just send you a shipping label and goodbye power station until they figure it out. There's also always a sacrifice when you're buying something like this. In a traditional system, you can choose a 3000 watt inverter and a 5000 watt battery if that's what your needs are. In a system like this, you're gonna need to buy them as a pair because they're already in this casing. So you might need a 5000 watt battery and a 2000 watt inverter, but you might only be able to get a 5000 watt battery with a 7000 watt inverter. And that might just be what you have to settle for. But jumping into some of the pros of a portable power station is that they are just smaller and they have a smaller footprint. This is the entire system. Traditional systems are going to be all over your wall, all over the floor. There's wires everywhere. There's sh everywhere. This is the entire thing. They're also portable. They're not fixed to any location. You can just pick this thing up and move it around. It has no screws holding it to a wall. It has no wires wiring it to a fixed location. It does whatever you tell it to. They're also way easier to expand on. Yes, you can expand traditional ones and that's a fact, but these are, again, because these are so simple and all in one, usually you just buy a battery, the battery sits on top or sits beside it. You plug one cord into the main unit, one cord into the battery and you're done. That is it. It is a very plug and play system. Another pro is that there's also just a higher demand for a portable power station like this, especially when you get into the bigger ones as they become more popular. If you get sick of this or you wanna upgrade from this, you wanna change this out or anything, this is gonna be so much easier to sell than it is with all these tiny little components and pieces that you need for a full system. Because for the most part, if someone's trying to buy a full system, they're gonna buy all of the pieces at once. Another pro is that a portable power station usually comes with a ton of extra features. For example, this one has a light built into it on the front. You can get them with motorized wheels. You can get them with handles, suitcase handles. There's so many features and things that you can get in a portable power station that you don't even necessarily need, but it's just that added bonus. You're paying a little bit of extra money for something like this, and you're getting all these added features that you didn't have to wire in or put there yourself. There's also a ton of technology built into these, and you can do basically everything that you would wanna do with a traditional system with a unit like this, even a small one. If you get into the bigger stuff, like the Delta Pro Ultras, F3800s, they actually have right on the app, you can set the time that it charges, you can set the time that it discharges, and you can basically schedule peak shaving right from the app, which is just another really cool way to help offset the cost or save you money in the long term. And because of that, and because they're plug and play, and because they're just so simple, this is kind of where the industry is going. They're actually, we're starting to see more and more companies roll out these much bigger, much more technology filled units that are actually designed for a whole home backup solutions. Like you could power an entire cabin in the woods from portable power stations. So the industry is heavily leaning in this direction. It's making it way more easy and understandable for just everyday people to grab a power station like this and use it for whatever they want. So that is it. That is all I got for you guys. Like I said, if this video helped you or if you are just getting here on the playlist that we have put together for you guys, make sure that you share this video or the whole playlist with somebody. It helps share some knowledge. And that is all I got for you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out and stay charged.